It's a long debate tonight at the unicameral about the future of Nebraska's public universities. Yeah, a bill would end funding for diversity, equity, and inclusion system-wide. KATV News Watch 7's Maddie Augustine has both sides from Lincoln. Dozens tell me they waited hours in a line out the door for Tuesday's hearing of LB 1330, a bill Senator Dave Merman says could be a trend of the future, but opposers say is detrimental to the future and the present. When you are limiting what information that they have access to, the training that they receive so that they can be effective educators, you are then limiting that next generation's capacity to operate as effective members of society. Legislative Bill 1330, sponsored by 14 senators, including Senator Dave Merman, is one of several bills introduced to solve a $58 million budget shortfall at the University of Nebraska. We have a partial solution and funding of the DEI departments. The bill would end funding for all diversity, equity, and inclusion programs, offices, and faculty training at all public Nebraska universities, state colleges, and community colleges. Supporters say the cut will restore academic integrity and intellectual freedom. It seeks to destroy our present system in which individuals attain success based on competence, diligent work, and merit. Opponents argue LB 1330 will impact the education of the next generation and cause educators and students to leave the university system in the state of Nebraska. People will either leave or they're just not going to come to Nebraska in general, which is not what we want here at all because it's, it's a great school, a great state, and it deserves better than this bill. Supporters argue the bill will lead to success for the schools based on other states who already cut DEI funding. Iowa, Oklahoma, Texas, Florida, and most recently Utah have taken the right lead on this, and I hope to continue the pattern right here in Nebraska. Opposers to LB 1330 urge the Education Committee to permanently stall the bill, but no decisions have been made on the bill. Reporting in Lincoln, Maddie Augustine, KETV, Newswatch 7.